One-on-one -on -one action coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet this will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. When you have the two superstars as hungry as these two competing in the ring, you can bet match. it'll be memorable. Making her way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, the Sailor Munoz. And her opponent, from the United States of America, Sal. Guys, there's so much on the line here in this last man standing match. You're right, Michael. This one goes beyond wins and losses. These superstars are risking long-term damage to their bodies by participating in a match like this. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes wow. that's all you can do. I don't think we're going to see too many headlocks or arm bars in this one, guys. Those might work in a traditional match, but not in an environment like this. Drop down. Beautiful technique. No one's backing down here. What an impasse. Got the head scissors on. Oh, oh. elbow to the face. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, this is dangerous right here. She wants to finish this. No way she can survive this, can she? You know, I'd say matches like this really drive superstars to take risks they normally wouldn't take. An example that immediately comes to mind would be Shane McMahon's actions at Unforgiven in 2003. Oof. Oh, it is trapped now and just what a strike. To elaborate more than that Unforgiven 2003 match Corey was talking about, that night we saw Shane leap off the top rope of the Unforgiven set down toward his opponent Kane. And unfortunately for Shane, however, Kane moved at the last moment, and it was all academic from there. The referee could have counted to 100. Shane was not getting up. Guys, one of my favorite matches from the In Your House era would have to be December 1996 Armageddon Rules match between The Executioner and The Undertaker, which many say was a precursor to today's... This is it. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Oh, the old head scissor. I knew it was only a matter of time. 
We've seen the roundhouse kick. This might be it, guys. As Byron was saying, Armageddon rules was undoubtedly a precursor to today's last man standing match. The difference then, however, was the referee began his 10 count only after a superstar pinned his opponent for the three count. And on that night, as Vince McMahon said on commentary, the executioner was executed by The Undertaker. And this match is going to continue. Guys, we've seen some pretty creative finishes to last man standing matches over the years. And perhaps one of the most creative took place at Extreme Rules 2010 when John Cena duct taped Batista's legs together. We will go on. Byron, regarding that Cena Batista match you mentioned, not only did the animal lose that night, but it was also likely one of the most embarrassing moments of his career. Of course it was, Cole. Wouldn't you be embarrassed if you struggled to stand because your feet were taped together? Come on. I'm told her photo galleries are responsible for a good portion of WWE's.com's huge traffic numbers last month. I'm no mathematician, guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. Backbreaker! That'll realign your vertebrae. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. On the topic of traditional matches versus last man standing matches, Corey makes a great point and matches she's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. Harsh impact. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Oh, nasty impact. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. This is not at all where she wants to be right now. I think this one's over. This could be the end of the road. Oh, the old head scissor. That has got to be it. Given the amazing shape these competitors are in, I'm not sure it's even possible to keep one of them down for the 10 count. Not over yet. The referee is watching this one very closely. At any moment, he'll have to call this match if one of these combatants can't get up. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. Let's take another look at what made that last man standing match so memorable. That's a woman on a mission. Man, oh man, look at that. Who could forget this? And here's how she finished this thing. Here is your winner, the Sailor Munoz. That's an impressive win right there. I could watch them go at it each and every week. What a 